Hey YouTube, this is the Duststar ARAD Model 1. Uh, it is a, a fixed blade combat utility knife. Right, uh, these are manufactured in Israel. Uh, the price tag on this is around $200, although you can sometimes find it for a good deal less. Right, now, it is a saber grind, all right, uh, similar to a classic USMC K-Bar. The blade steel is D2 tool steel, right? and the handle is made of uh, fiberglass reinforced nylon. It's uh, very durable, lightweight, and resists weather. Right? And also you see the sheath right there. I'll show you the sheath as well. Now the blade length on this is 7 inches, and the weight of the knife, 13.4 uh, ounces. So it is a very uh, substantial fixed blade. Uh, very rugged, very durable, obviously. All right, let me give you a size comparison uh, with your uh, your classic USMC K bar. As you can see, you know, kind of a similar design, design both saber grind clip points. The K bar is slightly longer. All right, but these are you know these are both military combat utility blades. All right, so there you go. All right, and here you see the blade. Very strong uh, saber grind. Nice thickness on the back spine you see there. Metal guard. Does have a lanyard hole. And you see uh, it's the tang extends, you know, very far down, very far down, and it is pinned. All right. And now this back swedge is sharpened. They also sell a model where that's not sharpened, and they also sell um, a model where the blade is black coated. Uh, I got the bead blast because I figure as I use it, the black coating, you know, it's going to get worn out and not look as good. Whereas on this, as you use it, you know, the marks are not going to show up as much on the gray. And overall, my initial impression. This is just a beefy knife. This is just a very strong, durable knife, which is kind of what you want. You want it overbuilt, at least in a military application. Right now, the um, the edge on this, it does not come razor sharp, unfortunately. And I have watched other reviews, so I know it's not just the one I got, but in the other reviews, uh, it was pointed out that the edge it just, it's, it's medium sharp, okay? You're going to have to work on the edge to get it uh, to a razor sharpness. All right, so that's unfortunate, um, but that's how it goes. As far as the usefulness of this blade for its mission, which is, you know, a soldier's uh, combat utility blade, you know, I like the tough, durable D2 steel. I like the, the uh, thickness on... Uh, the spine there, uh, the all-weather handle. It's very ergonomic too. Um, fits me perfectly and they've rounded off uh, these parts right here in between the finger grooves so even if it doesn't fit you perfectly these are not gonna these are not gonna be painful or poke into your hand. Alright so overall yeah I mean this thing it's, it's kind of a it's a beast I mean it, it's meant to be it's meant to be abused you could say almost like the sharpened pry bar philosophy and obviously as, as a weapon yeah it's a formidable weapon all right so overall yeah I think it succeeds at its mission let's talk about let's show the sheath this is the knife in the sheath you see it has a horizontal retaining strap velcro closure um, you know, for military use, Velcro is a little bit loud, and also I think most people, including myself, would prefer a diagonal strap, so there's less chance of cutting your own strap when you pull it out. All right, so that could be better. All right here is the, um, you know, the belt loop right there, the back of the sheath. All right, there is a loop right there. It is a nylon sheath. There's also a secondary pocket right here, Velcro, which could hold a multi-tool, sharpening stone, first aid kit, eyelets here to lash it to your thigh, 
All right, it does retain it, obviously. Um, you know, there's a little bit of movement, but you know, that's the sheath. It's not, you know, it's not the, uh, it's not a perfect sheath by any means, but there it is. All right, so what is my overall opinion on the knife? You know, it's got some pluses and some minuses. Uh, definitely, it should have a higher initial sharpness. I think that's, um, you know, I don't think you can debate that knives should be sharp. You should have to resharpen your knife. You shouldn't have to sharpen it. In other words, it should come sharp, and when it's dull, you resharpen. Okay, um, but that's not a deal breaker. Obviously, if you have a knife in this price range, you need to, you know, be capable of resharpening it anyway. Um, so that's a minus. Uh, the price tag, I, I think it's, I feel it's a little overpriced, but I was very curious to try out this company. Obviously, knife reviewer, knife collector, you're going to be interested in new companies. Just, I just wanted to test it out. And also, uh, when you're importing a knife from overseas, I mean, obviously, you know, not from China, but from, uh, from, com from countries like Italy, Sweden, or even Israel, obviously there is going to be a markup. That's just something you have to accept. And the sheath, um, you know, the sheath was not perfect. The use of the Velcro, it just wasn't uh, as tactical a sheath as I think you would want if you were in the military but there's certainly many good knives that don't really come with good sheaths. I think we've learned that. All right, those are the drawbacks, but as far as the pluses, it's a very strong, durable knife. Uh, the thickness of the spine combined with the, just the strength of a saber grind. Uh, the clip point, very, you know, very traditional. It, it works for the K-Bar and it works here. Uh, I like the handle. Uh, it's not too small. It is all weather. It's gonna, you know, it's gonna resist the elements better than traditional leather, right? So overall, I think the knife does function as what it's sold as, as a combat utility blade. And you know, the D2 steel, very tough. Can't complain about that. So overall, yeah, I think if you want a combat utility blade in the seven-inch uh, length category. Uh, this would serve you and serve you pretty well when, once you put a good edge on it. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed the review. Stay tuned for many more. Peace out. I'm out of here, dudes.